Hello everyone, this video will be showing the Great Pearl Fan Reef spawn in Maripur. This spawn is close to town, which will make it quick to resupply. To gain access, you will have to do the first mission in the Within the Tides quest to gain access to Maripur, but no further missions are required. The spawn is found within the central mountain of Maripur, and you will need a diving helmet to enter. Once you do, you can switch back to your regular helmet as usual. You can follow my path from the Maripur carpet to help locate the spawn. When hunting this spawn, you will find two-headed turtles and foam stalkers. I recommend at least level 4 and 50 before hunting this spawn. Make sure to start with smaller poles as you get used to the spawn, as the damage here can be quite high. When hunting here, I used one powerful crit, two powerful life leech, two powerful mana leech, and an intricate magic level imbue, which I always have on my coif. I recommend both stone showers and thunderstorms while hunting this spawn. Stone showers will be more effective against the two-headed turtles, which will be the majority of your poles, but energy is more effective against the foam stalkers. If you end up with a pole with quite a few foam stalkers, you want to use thunderstorms to take them down at a similar speed to the two-headed turtles. While hunting here, I was making 2.1 to 2.2 million experience per hour, 100%, and between 900k and 950k profit per hour, not counting the cost of imbues. There were a few times I was on pace to exceed 1 million per hour loot earlier in the hunt, but I never ended up there at the end. You'll be killing just over double the amount of two-headed turtles compared to foam stalkers, so if you want to use any kind of prey, I recommend putting it on them. I found I would use around 1,200 diamond arrows, 1,000 great manas, 300 stone showers, and 200 thunderstorms in an hour. You'll also want to bring spirit potions for emergencies and be ready to ring swap to an e-ring if things go south. I also recommend using an enchanted pendulet, swapping your boots to guardian for the additional protection if you don't have anything better. Based off the input analyzer, the max DPS I received was 3,328. This was on the higher side as most hunts it was between 2,600 and 2,900. It really depends on how much you group together at once and how early you start your box. Throughout my hunts, I would take between 65-70% to damage from two-headed turtles and 25-30% to damage from foam stalkers. Typically, I was receiving 45-50% to physical damage, 25% ice damage, and around 10% for each energy and life drain damage. For a trinket, you should definitely use Bone Fiddle, as that is the only applicable damage type to resist using one of these items. There are a total of 100 charm points available if you unlock both of the creatures here. They will each take 2,500 kills and reward 50 charm points. Based on my estimates, it would take 5.5 hours to complete Two-Headed Turtle, and 13 hours to complete Foam Stalker. Once you do have them unlocked, you would be best to put the Poison Charm on Two-Headed Turtle, and the Zap Charm on Foam Stalkers. Hopefully this video can help you out learning the spawn. If you have any questions, or if you try to spawn out for yourself, let me know in the comments. It will be helpful to see how different vocations and level ranges are able to handle it. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below as it will help me out. Thanks for watching, and happy hunting!